So now people are downplaying Ramses III legitimacy to the throne because his Y Haplo group is linked to Sub-Saharan Africans and African Americans. Man, sit your dumb ass down. So if anyone watched the series House of the Dragon, you would get an idea of the politics and evil lists people would go to usurp the throne, whether they are illegitimate or not. But first I must say that Ramses III, father set in the kit, was the first pharaoh of the 20th dynasty. But in order to know if Ramses III was a legitimate heir to the throne, we must go back to the end of the 19th dynasty and see what happened. It is very clear that Egypt suffered some amount of turmoil at the end of the 19th dynasty. The balance of Maat had been broken and usurpation was at an all time high. When Seti II died, his so-called son Septo was only a six year old child when he ascended to the throne. Furthermore, it was thought that Seti II was his father, but now Egyptologists are saying that his father was unknown. Also, Septa is excluded from the Ramses statues of ancestral kings. This suggests that Septa was regarded as an illegitimate ruler. But who was Septa's mother? Could she have been of the royal bloodline? Let's see. Historically, it was believed that Tia, a wife of Seti II, was the mother of Septa. This view persisted until it was eventually realized that a relief in the Lavoie Museum pair accept the name together with the name of his mother Satulia, which is a Asiatic name rather than native Egyptian, which means that she was almost certainly an Asiatic. So Septa is looking less like a legitimate heir to the throne and more like an Asiatic. So right off the bat, the end of the 19th dynasty rulers are looking very questionable. If Septa was a son of Seti II, it is unlikely that he would have been considered an illegitimate king by the later rulers of the 20th dynasty. It was Chancellor Bey who appointed Septa to the throne. Chancellor Bey was a high ranking official of Asiatic origin for he made the claim that it was he who established the king on the throne, referring to Septa. Apparently Chancellor Bey and Septa's mother were related, which would explain why he appointed Septa in the first place. It is also noteworthy to say that the ancient Egyptians despised the Asiatics. They were looked at as the evil people of the north from the land of chaos. While Septa was on the throne, Seti II's wife Tausrit was the regent. She is also Septa's stepmother. It is said that Tausrit may have even took advantage of the fact that Septa was a very sickly and crippled kid. Her and Chancellor Bey exploited the young pharaoh for their personal gain. After the death of Septa, Tausrit was Septa's successor. But nonetheless, it was Chancellor Bey that called all the shots. It is recorded in the papyrus of Harris that during the rule of Tausrit and Chancellor Bey, Egypt had fell into civil war and chaos. It was a time of crisis and political unrest. Chancellor Bey brought Syrian foreigners into the land to plunder and take people's possessions. They had no respect for the Egyptian gods and no offerings were presented in the temples. Yet it was Setniket who the gods had chosen to rise forth from their limbs to be the ruler of every land upon their throne. Within three years of Setniket's reign, he set in order the entire land which had been rebellious. He slew the rebels who were in the land of Egypt. He cleansed the great throne. He brought back those who had gone in hiding. He relieved the besieged cities and reopened the temples and restored their revenue. From a third's eye view, one can look at the end of the 19th dynasty as a partial intermediate period. And we can also look at Setna Ket as a great liberator in his own right. Seems like the only illegitimate rulers were Tazrit and Septa, who was erased out of the king's list by the 20th dynasty pharaohs. Which leads us to Ramses III. Egyptologists believe that Setna Ket was the grandson of Ramses II, yet other Egyptologists believe that he was a direct son of Ramses II because out of the long list of Ramses II's sons, one bore the exact same name as Setna Ket. But was Ramses III mother a descendant? Yes, she was. Ramses III mother was a descendant of Myrna Ptah. Also, the 20th dynasty is regarded as the last ancient Egyptian royal family.
hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I'm Rod Darius X, and this has been another Black to Egypt exclusive.